The crisis over delayed salaries payment has now spilled over to Parliament as lawmakers' wages were delayed by 10 days. Yes, that is very true. Just like the teachers, doctors and any other public servant, we also find it hard to deliver our services to the people that we serve. Much as we come from, some come from near, some come from far, much as I come from Maokota South constituents here in PG, there are couple of demands that the people expect me to fulfill. So when it comes to the salary, I am affected in one way or another. The demands are enormous. However, this would not likely elicit any sympathy after public servants like the police, teachers, prisons, medical workers have gone without pay for months. We are incapacitated. We are unable to move on. For how long should a teacher from Pader move on a bicycle eight kilometers, carrying a baby on her back, going to teach and without a salary. For how long? Surely, let's, let's be fair. Let us be fair. Some lawmakers said that the delay could teach them a lesson about the plight of the others. For me, I feel this delay, painful as it may be, is good because we want to share the pain with the teachers and we speak about the same thing when we, it comes to speaking. By Tuesday, no money had been deposited in the MPs' accounts, yet they always receive their wages by the 15th of every month. Well, as parliamentarians, we can uh, survive, really. Honestly, but for some time though. But uh, honestly, teacher earns 200,000. Until we curb corruption in this country, let's even not blame donors. Because the money that is stolen in Uganda is much more than what the donors give us every year. The latest World Bank report says Uganda loses 700 billion every year. You can imagine. That's a lot of money. 700 billion would do so much, you'd have wonderful roads, teachers would earn so well, you'd have uh, hospitals working, good academic institutions. Where? Where can, it come, where can all that come from when people are busy in government stealing money every day? Some MPs are crying foul, urging that the delays are deliberate to stifle the independence of parliament. And once people are poor, then they can be easily be influenced to pass uh, certain programs or legislation that are not in conformity with the people's need and demands. It is very unfortunate that uh, members of parliament pay just like civil servants pay and teachers can be delayed and yet according to the constitution it is a first call on the consolidated fund account. It is a must. Already a number of MPs are grappling with loans and are being threatened by Shylocks. It is true the loans are there. I for one, I did get a loan um, going to around 200 million to finance the water project in Kayabwe and Buama. That's a, a water project I initiated. But State Minister for Finance, Matia Kasaija, says that the delay of salaries of various government workers is attributed to a forensic audit which unearthed over 7,500 ghost workers on the government payroll. Members of parliament have got their pay. That has delayed a little bit. But I said they should check, because this is because of vote on account, but they should check with the accounting, the, the, with our accountant here. Yes, there was a delay like for one week, because we usually pay members their salaries by 15th of every month, but I can confirm that it has already been paid, and today is the 24th of July, and members of parliament have already been paid their salary for July. The May-June salary, of those categories, I've talked of the police, I've talked of some teachers, I have talked of uh, some health workers. We are going to sort that out.